Hey guys, Ryan NZ here. I'm super excited to show you today a brand new plugin. It's called Atlas and it's gonna blow your mind. So keep watching. Welcome along. This is Atlas, a groundbreaking first of its kind sampler powered with artificial intelligence. The AI can go through your sample packs, figure out what the sounds are, and organize them into a visual map. Pretty much what you can see here. This is what you see when you first open the plugin. The guys at Sample Magic have already given you a welcome pack. These samples, they all sound excellent. This plugin, though, is truly remarkable. It helps you find samples that you want. It's inspiring, it's creative, and it helps you discover new combinations of sounds that you would never have thought of. And this is all done at lightning speed. Getting down drums has never been so fast and so easy. So the first thing that you want to do is create a map. Click maps on the top left and you can see here they've got a page where you can organize all of these maps in a way that you like. So you can sort them out by genre, brand, style, whatever you like. If we want to create a new map, we come up here. And you've got the option here to change the colors. So if you need to theme it in a way that's easier for you to search, that's fine. You can click on edit name here, and this is gonna be Electro. And that's what it's gonna be set up. Now, of course, you can always go back in, click edit name, and if you need to make it more specific, you can do Electro House 2. Now that you've taken care of that, you need this plugin to find and work with the correct folders. Now you can either use the browse function or you can drag and drop. Now the great thing about using drag and drop is that if you want, you can actually select multiple sample bank libraries at once, drag them in, and they will all form one single map. Now you can see here, this is the path, but you can see here there's a plus one. So this shows that there is more than one. So if I had dragged seven in, it would say plus six. From there, this is where the magic happens and the artificial intelligence does the rest. If you click analyze samples, it will go ahead and do that for you. This process will take about one minute per gigabyte. Now it's important to note that this is actually happening on your own computer. It's not online or in the cloud. Now then, once the analysis is done, simply click on load map and there you are. Those are all the samples put into this visual map. Now to navigate around, it's extremely simple. You can click, drag, you can use these zoom faders here. Again, it's very simple and intuitive. Having all the samples set up like this is a great way to find them easily and quickly. No longer do you have to search through hundreds of different folders to try and find a certain sample. You now just get to drag, zoom, and navigate into an island or a category that you want. And then as you zoom in, you can see all of a sudden now more and more dots or samples start to appear. And you really get to see how many actual samples there are in each category. And to just sample them, you just click on them and it's an easy way to preview the sound. The artificial intelligence once again works its magic when it actually comes to arranging the samples in the island. So on one side of the island, the snares will be tighter and thinner, and on the other side, they'll be bigger, punchier, more in your face. The plugin is actually resizable, so you can click on this little corner, drag out, drag in, and again, this all helps to work with inside this map. From within the plugin, you can grab any sample you want and drag it straight into any door. You can also drag and drop onto any plugin that supports this feature. If we come down here and click new kit, you will see that a complete kit has filled out the eight drum cells, each with their category. Each time you click new kit, it will replace every drum sample with a new one from that same category. Each of these eight drum cells can all be triggered by MIDI. Another great feature here is every time you drag a sample, let's say a snare, into a cell which wouldn't normally have that sample in it, every time you click new kit, it will respect that. For example, if I put a snare into this kick one, and now I press new kit, it's respected that new decision. Within each cell in the top right corner here, you have this button here, which is finding a new drum. It's a randomized button. For example, click, click, and it always replaces it with something from that same category. Another cool feature here is the hot swap. With the cell selected, you can now go anywhere in the map, right click, and it's been changed. 
Again, right click and that cell has been updated with that click. You will also notice in each box there is a lock icon. Now then, when you are clicking through a new kit and you find a kit that you like, if you press lock and press new kit, the kit will continue to change except the kick. It leaves that same sample that you liked locked in place. And you can do this with as many cells as you like. Other controls include the solo and the mute right here. When you click on the cell, you're able to then press solo or mute to give you more control when you're working on your loops. Another quick tip is you can just right click directly on the cell to mute. Also, you have the ability to undo and redo. So let's say I change this snare, but I wanna go back to that previous snare. There you go, it's remembered what I've done. And then it also brings up the redo button. If I wanna go back forward to that same drum that it selected. If we come down here, we have some more parameters that we can use to work with our drums. You'll see down here that we have a few simple but very effective controls. Make sure that you have the cell selected that you want to work on and shape the sound. Gain, shape, which is basically a simplified ADSR. Filter, high pass, low pass, and you can double click to return back to default. There you go. This lock icon applies to these parameters here. So if you're working in the kick cell and you've made a few adjustments, like so, you can now press lock and every time you cycle through, it maintains those same changes. Future updates, however, will see a new panel available where you will have more advanced controls. Coming across to the right here, you can see a like and a dislike button. This works exactly how you think. You can use this to teach Atlas the sounds that you like. Liking a sound will mean it, and the sounds around it are more likely to be chosen in a new kit, and vice versa for the sounds that you dislike. This plugin also features multi-output, which is very important for those people who like to have a separate channel for each drum. Simply click multi-output, go back in here, make sure that you've actually selected multi-output, open the mixer, and here you can click plus, and each cell will represent one channel. At the top here, you'll see a button for MIDI clips. When you click on this, you'll see that there is a whole bunch that's given to you with this plugin. This makes it very easy to get things going very fast. You can simply drag directly into your sequencer and everything's been done for you. You can of course go into that MIDI clip and customize further. You also have the ability to have your own MIDI clips. This may be a favorite simple pattern to get things going and you can click this little button here and it will show you the location of where you need to save your clips so that when you use this plugin in the future it will pop up right here. And finally across the top here you have drum kits. This is a great feature. If you have got eight drums here, which you really like, and you can see yourself using again, you are able to click onto drum kits, save drum kit, name it how you want. Then when you load the plugin, you will see it listed here, or you can go in and load it from here. Guys, this plugin will definitely change the way that you use your sample library. It's extremely fast, it's easy, it's creative, it's inspiring. You're able to get new ideas for drums that you would never have come up with without this plugin. Chances are you already have a million samples like the rest of us, but this plugin will actually for the first time be able to utilize all of those samples in a great way. I'm using this plugin with every song that I make. I'm able to start songs so much faster. And in fact, I even go back to old unfinished songs, put this plugin to the test, and all of a sudden the creative juices are flowing and I've got new ideas. And those unfinished tracks, all of a sudden, they're gonna be finished. This plugin will work in any DAW that supports VST or audio unit and supports both Mac and PC. Get amongst it guys, it's amazing.